Tomatin 1995 21 year old finished for three years and three months in Spanish Oloroso sherry casks. Should you grab one? Check out the whiskey whistle. What it is, my whiskey people, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Tomatin 1995, finished for three years and three months in Spanish Oloroso Sherry Hogsheads. This was distilled on the 16th of June in 1995, transferred on the 13th of May 2013, and then bottled on the 1st of August. 2016. It's 21 years old and this is bottle 1,466 of 1,912 bottles. It's 46% ABV. It is unchill filtered and natural in color. It's got a beautiful presentation and a very interesting magnetic lock box. So that's very cool. And a very nice green color like that's such an underused color in almost all marketing green right okay let's get some poured here there it is okay a very nice cork let's pour that that should be good now this was a selection for the Winnipeg Whiskey Club June event. And we've just had our barbecue in July and there will be a space side event coming up in August. So send me a message through Instagram or Twitter or you can contact me on Facebook. Uh, you can also check me out at mark at winnipegwhiskeyclub.com and find out how you can join the club. All right, so here on Whiskey Whistle, we check out the color of the whiskey, the legs, just like wine legs, what are they like? Then the nose, the palate, and the finish before giving it a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score, and thus answering the question of whether you should be running out and grabbing one of these. Now, this one was matured, it says here, in traditional oak casks. Now, this would mean refill it's been used, it may be an assembly of a whole bunch of cask uh, staves to create a new one. Anyway, so traditional oak cask maturation and then sherry. And let's have a look at the color. This is a little bit above gold, not quite at the color of copper, but nearly, nearly there, almost, yeah, pretty much. You know what? getting towards copper anyway beautiful color very nice and the legs let's check out the legs of this tomatin 21 year old 1995 finished for three years and three months in oloroso sherry here we go very slow to develop and yet slightly thinner than the Anok and not quite as showy. But very nice, so that we should have a nice moderate mouthfeel. So let's see if we can verify that. Okay, the nose. Beautiful, rich, sherried nose. That sherry for three months and three years, pardon me, three years, three months, really did a number on this one. It is predominantly sherry. I'm getting raisins. I'm getting stewed rhubarb. I am getting local strawberries. I'm getting some cranberries. blackberries and there's just that hint of peat in the background as well peat or or something and it's that slight kind of sulfuric note 
that's naturally occurring from the fermentation and it is uh, enhanced by the usage of copper. Interesting. Oh, there's a fly. Shoe fly. Ginger. Almost like a sushi pickled ginger, the pink ones. Fresh nectarines. A beautiful waxed oak furniture. Mm-hmm. That's really coming through here. You can definitely smell its age. I hope they're not coming for me. Okay, on to the palate. Cheers. Hmm. Very rich mouthfeel. Very full palate. Rich palate. Rich malt. Some very, very dark honey. The red fruits are there. Raisins, as I'm smacking my lips in the finish. Dark, dark raisins. Hmm. Minimal astringency. There's a little bit on the palate, sorry, a little bit on the finish, pardon me, but not on the palate. Very fruity palate, very fruity finish, lots of raisins, and that ginger, and almost like a mint leaf, like a mojito note. Hmm. Supremely potent. Okay, let's check it out with water. What a finish. With water, I get more vanilla, more malt, dampened fruit. Some coconut coming out here as well, lightly toasted. Some underripe mango. Some dried mango, too. Hmm. Really hits the sweet spot with a bit of water. Just rounding out the event. No, it's not smoky. What it is is a little bit of that sulfuric note. I forget the actual chemical word, but um, delicious. Very, very thick. Very nice. Let me add just one more drop. With water, I notice a little bit more of the ex-bourbon oak, or sorry, the traditional oak. And it's really enhanced here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now the palate is ideal, but there's trade-offs. The nose has diminished a little bit. Hmm. Mm, very nice. Well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Tomatin 1995, bottled in 2016, the 1st of August. What is that going to be? Well, folks, it's going to be 92 out of 100. You heard it. 92 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for this Tomatin. Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 1995 limited edition bottling. Finished for three years, three months in an Oloroso Sherry Hogshead. Well, just beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Hit the emblem to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Click the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. And if you're in Winnipeg, then check me out at the winnipegwhiskeyclub.com. You can email me at mark at winnipegwhiskeyclub.com. No E on whiskey there. And come and join us. We meet the last Wednesday of each, each month. Pardon me. So uh, if you happen to be in town for business, maybe you can come and join. Just send me a message, okay? And um, if you like what I'm doing here, then why not join me on Patreon, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. It's a crowdfunding site and I give you advanced viewing of the videos and merchandise that's coming very soon just for you. Take care, everybody. See you for the next one. That is going to be an art bag. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.